Geez, is it good to be back on the home ground. After an absolute slog in Western Port, bloody happy to leave that joint behind. Finally hit up the snapper here in Port Phillip Bay. There hasn't been many opportunities to get out because the weather's just been a bit how you're going. It's, it's not the greatest today either. I can already see it's pretty choppy out there. Uh, we're just going to have to brave it. And fingers crossed we can get ourselves onto a home ground red. Now, even though it's not a flat as attack day, still looking forward to not dealing with current, not dealing with weed, any of that rubbish. So we'll see. It's a it's a bit of a southwesterly, so it's coming towards us. The barometer's high. They've been on the bite for the last few days, from what I've heard. So as long as we can find a patch of fish, I think we'll, we'll, we'll get them. whereabouts I want to be. The reason why I picked this particular spot is it's sort of along a contour line coming straight out of Ricketts and it's a run out tight so just putting two and two together it's maybe somewhere the fish might start swimming through. I'm gonna sound through it but I think I'm, I'm gonna drop the pick whether whether I sound anything or not. I've lost count of the amount of times I've sounded fish, heaps of fish and could never get a bite. The amount of times I've actually not sounded the fish and bagged out. All right, let's drop the pick. I haven't invested in the ankle winch for this boat because I just can't justify it. Yeah, I'd rather upgrade the boat for one day rather than drop two grand on an ankle winch. So at the moment, there's just these biceps that are being the ankle winch. If anyone knows of anyone giving away sponsorships, for an anchor winch, send them my way, because bloody hell, I will give them the biggest plug of their lives. I'll give them cinematics, everything. Let's go on the stock standard pillies for bait. Got the reedy scallop here, and with that, I'm just gonna dangle a bit of squid off the end. That's it. And we'll just drop that down the side. There's literally not a boat in sight, so fingers crossed, this burly gets working. Because it's the only scent in the area, it might actually work. Now we kick back, relax. Good sign, but this time of year, you can get absolutely mauled by these things. I'm hoping there's bigger ones in the area. That's a that's a legal that's a legal little pinky. Yep good fish good fish that's a good fish Very good To be honest, it's got a very interesting fight on it. It doesn't feel too snappery. It's a snapper. It's a snapper. That's what it takes, baby. 20 minutes in Port Phillip Bay. 20 minutes in Port Phillip Bay. Now, some may argue, well, you don't get them as big here. And given this fish isn't as big as the one I've got in Western Port, it's still a solid fish. Now, there, that's why we love this bay. Port Phillip Bay. I think it's the 2nd of November now. There's our snapper. Not huge, it'd be about two to three kilo. You can see there, corner of the mouth, is the reedy scallop. Had a nice uh, straight down the side. Other rods haven't had a touch yet. There he is there. So he's about 64, 65. Hey, well, it was an interesting fight. He did not want to come up. Packed the punch for his side. As soon as I put the scallop down again, getting all the action huh? these ones haven't had a touch yet this bait's definitely gone oh, it's still heavy for some reason i reckon there's a fish on this that's why a little prick got him right in the umbay 
Okay. Just got a decent run on this. And this is going, they go at the same time. It's so weird. That had a decent pull. Typical snapper lunge on that. Ah, a little prick. The only bad thing with this guy around is there's literally no other boats. So if we hook up, if we hook up here, there's no way we're getting it in. Haven't really had much action since that fish. There were a few takes of the baits, but there were no hookups. So I'm thinking that, um, cause when I came out, it was pretty much the start of that tide. So it was probably right on that change of tide. Uh, the fish were biting today. But look, you can't complain about one fish. It's one decent fish. I think a lot of people would be happy to, to catch just one fish in a whole season. Still early in November, uh, fish are gonna really start firing up in the next couple of weeks. So get out there and get yourself onto one. As I mentioned earlier, I'm actually gonna be away for the next few weeks. So I'm doing a trip down the East Coast. So we're gonna be heading up towards One Point Eden. Uh, we're going to be doing the flatty comp in Malakuta, so stay tuned for that. It's going to be pretty sick. We're going to hit the Bent River as well, my first time going there. Yeah, make sure you like, subscribe, and, and stay tuned for those. But yeah, I reckon this snapper season is going to be a massive one. Kind of spewing that I'm not going to be there in the heat of it. As soon as I get back, I'll be back out here and I'm trying to get you know, a proper bag of snapper. I might actually try to stick in one last session before I leave, but... Even if I do get a fish on that, you probably won't see that till I'm, till I'm back because I won't have any time to edit that before I head off. And I did exactly that only two days later. And luckily I had enough time to whip some footage up for you legends. Here we are, fellas. We're on Maddie's brand new bar crusher, 490. He's finally yeah. ditched, the, um, ditched the little tinny. 490 C, brother. I'll tell you what, it's a neat little boat. We got a pretty strong southerly today and it's handling it beautifully. Matty, you want to give the viewers a bit of an overview of what your aim is today? So, slack now. We'll see, we've got a few spots on the top top end of the bay, up in the east side. We we'll start at Sandringham, we'll move down towards Black Rock and Ricketts. We're just going to spend five, ten minutes sounding up at a few known marks that we've had success on. So, we got the TM165 high wide, We're running our chirp here for sounding. When we go into shallower water, we then switch to the other channel on the on the low rants to the three in one transducer. We can use a little bit of uh, we can use a little bit of side scan and down scan. Um, try and find some structure or some weed. Um, but yeah, swapping between the two transducers is a benefit. Just got the sounder zoomed in at the moment on the sea floor and we're looking for some arches that you know at least a meter high or just under a meter so you can see it's six meters we want to see something going up to from six to five so you're small that, a few that, small could, be, arches that could be a few stacked up on top but nowhere near as big as we need them we're not worth stopping on that i'm getting the hurdles Kudos, lad. Bro, why are you still reeling when the when the drag's going off? It's just the little insurance policy. <laughs> nice pan size. Pa Pando. Bail on, bail on, bail on. Is that Reedy's? It is. Yeah, nice little fish. What do you reckon that is? One kilo? One kilo. So, there's a soft part. Just above their eyes, you can sort of see there. What's going to happen is, put him out of his misery, I'm going to aim for his other eye. He should roll his eyes back in a moment. Hang on. No, he didn't roll him back. You're in the completely wrong spot, bro. You've got to get him in here. <laughs> yeah. That bit, there. Oh, there, there. Oh, there, there you go. All right, get, get the knife. Oh, oh, that's me, that's me. Bruh. Is that on? That's yeah. On. Bruh, good fish, bruh. Get the other ones in. Oh, he's going around the anchor, boys. He's going to go around the anchor. Come on, Corsa. Get your first for the season, brother. Is that even a snapper, bro? Like, it's not usually that hard to bring up. I think it could be a ray, like a big ray, maybe. Fighting like a snapper, right? Is that? Oh, yeah. It feels very like a snapper. Just come on, snap. Get up, get up, get up. Big eagle. 
Soldier. He's right. Soldier. <laughs> oh, I've spat it. He spat it. Mel, Mel's a bit over it, bro. Here we go, boys. The postman's delivering again. Bloody. No chance, you reckon? Bro, it's a blood. It's a. It's a. You can't even count that as a fish. It's a four kilo, bro. This is a four kegger, boys. You need the net or not? Nah. I think he's coming in backwards. He's coming in reverse. <laughs> got the truck peepers on. Beep, beep, beep. He is too. <laughs> Wait, why are you catching a little fucking thing like this? That's actually a pan, though. That's a pan, bro. That's a pan. I'm holding this team up, boys. I'm dead set holding this team up. You boys need a half time spray. <laughs> this is. Right? Yeah, it's a lot better. Eagle right. Nah, that's a snapper. That's a snapper. On the pill chip? No, nah, that was on a whiting. Yeah. This is a net. This is a net drop. Is a net? Yeah. Oh, well, I need redemption. Oh! Boys, I'll put this team on my shoulders today. Bro, it's okay. It's not a bad one. Watch it. Oh. Oh. Yo, what's going on? <laughs> Get him! Magrev, Magrev, Magrev! Get another bait in the water! Oh. Open spool, open spool, open spool! Oh. <laughs> That's a good fish. That's a good fish. That's a great fish. What, did, you, what, did you have to strike him, mate? Nah, he just he just lunged. Oh, he, so you didn't. If you left him in the rod holder, it would have ran. You say? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good fish, bro. You can jimmy him. All right, looks like we've got a decent fish on on the board for today. There it is. Another half decent fish. That is again not huge. Obviously, compared to Western Port, you get the big ones there, but you definitely get big big numbers of these fish here in Port Phillip Bay. So for me personally. I think it's a lot easier here. You get more reward for your effort here. I don't know, in Western Port, if you put in enough hours, you'll probably get a reward that outdoes Port Phillip Bay any day of the week. Have a look out there. Sun is right on the horizon. It's setting as we speak. Yeah, that's a result. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Ikijimi. Ikijimi, bro, I reckon. What is this? I don't know, bro. He's going for a good run. A bro, that's feel. a feel, man. Bro, you could... Feel. Seal. I reckon if it was a seal, it'd be going harder than that. Bro, that's going hard, man. He could have, maybe there was a fish on it and he's grabbed the fish, maybe. Should we cut the line? Oh, yeah, no, it's beautiful, bro. We're not, we're not too far, really. No, I think the same thing's happened. What, seal? Yeah. Can't be. Nah. Just lurking Yeah, bro. It's cooked us. Yeah, bro, look at that. He's gonna spool me. Jesus. Sealed again. I've just got two fish stolen by the steel. Stolen by the steel. I don't, I don't even think so. So, yeah, we've, um, the seals. Causing havoc. Seals doing damage. Seals doing a bit of damage, so. Lost two fish now. I think we're unfortunately gonna have to call it at this stage. Hey, a red on the christened. new boat. It's been, christened. it's been christened with a bit of crimson as the sun sets over Port Phillip Bay. I'll see you guys in a month's time and we'll come back out here and smash it again towards the end of the season. Yeah.